If you are transitioning your data from one database to another, um, you can import all of those people's information. If you have taken um, all of people's information on like a Rolodex or you've written it out, you can import all of that information if you type it up into a spreadsheet. So the way that you import all that information is by getting a CSV file and um, importing that into Planning Center People. So let me show you how. From the People page, here we are on the People page in Planning Center People, <laughs> you'll go to the Settings gear and then click Import Export CSV. So that's going to open our importer. Um, so the way that you, the way that I would suggest that you import people is a little bit at a time. Start with your staff members or your key volunteers and their families. Start with just names and emails or, um, or names and phone numbers, like just a little bit of information. If you've got 10,000 people that you're trying to import into Planning Center, we can definitely support that but you want to be uh, familiar with that importer. So start with just a chunk, just a small chunk of those people with a bit of their information and, um, and import those in. So the way that you would import is you would click start import, <clears throat> choose your file, your CSV file um, from, your, from your computer, and then, or you can drag it over, and then that would start importing it. Um, now, I already have a file in here that I've started importing right here, so I'm going to continue this import so we don't have to wait for it to load in. So I'm going to click Continue Import. Now, on this importer, what you'll see is that we have um, we have all these, we have the steps. We're going to walk you through it, these steps of, of how to do this. So I've already uploaded my file, and now I need to match the fields in my pro, in, in, from my file, from what is in my file, to Planning Center fields. Now, Planning Center has a bunch of default fields like name, address, phone number, the different types of all of those phone numbers, and even names um, that we have as default fields. We've got a lot of those, but there might be some fields that don't already exist in Planning Center and you can add those in too. So let me show you the difference, what that looks like on this importer. So for example, um, on this importer, I've got like these all match to dif different, uh, to, to, let me back up. This is the CSV column name, okay, first name. And then this is the Planning Center field that it's going to attach to. So I'm going to scroll over and you'll see I've got Catherine, that's an example um, from my CSV that is going to be imported as a first name into my database system. Um, but there's some up here, like right here, that says not used. So this field, this column name is the person ID. And I want to use that for, because I'm in, like, say I'm importing from one place to planning center I want to keep that person ID but that's not a planning center field it's a it's a field that I'm gonna have to create on my own so I'm gonna pause on importing and I'm gonna go create that custom field so that whenever I come back I'm able to import the person ID into planning center so let me show you how to do that so I'm gonna scroll back up and I'm going to people <clears throat> Now, if I want to create custom fields, like for a person ID, then I can do that by going to the settings and clicking customize fields. Now within here, we do have this personal tab that is some of our default fields that you can add um, extra things to. So if you've got specific schools or you can see all the different things um, on here, you can add those um, that, is, that is a default field, but you have specific answers that you want to be on that default field. You can do that from the personal tab here. But I've got all these different custom tabs full of information that I am bringing over from a different location or that I just want to store within Planning Center. Um, to add a tab, you click add a tab, enter the information, um, and then let me show you what it looks like on an actual tab. So I want to add a person ID number um, to be able to be stored within Planning Center. So I'm going to go to the past database info because that's where that's from and I've created this tab before. Um, and I can see that there's all this, all this information from a past database that I've got in here and I want to add a new field. So I click new field. This is called person ID and it's going to be text. It's probably all numbers, but just in case some of them have letters in it, I don't want to, I don't want it to mess up in the importer. So I've got it as a text. So I'm going to save this.
And now this is recognized as a custom field. Um, I do want to show you one more thing in custom fields. Um, within a tab, you can allow certain people to be able to view this tab on someone's profile. So all of these custom tabs could be on someone's profile. Um, and for, for like the past database info, I don't necessarily want everyone to see that information. It's only um, significant when it needs to be, you know. So I have made it visible to Sarah Driver. Now I can make it visible to all uh, viewers, all editors, all managers, or I can make it visible to just one single person. So Sarah is able to see this tab when she's looking at someone's profile. Um, so that's how you would add a custom field. Again, you can add lots of different custom fields here. Now, now I've got my custom field. I'm gonna go back to the people importer and I'm gonna match that person ID field with the custom field that I just added. So let's go back to people, to the settings tab, importer, and then I'm gonna go back to my CSV. Again, we're in this matching field section. And I can see that this CSV column name automatically recognize that it matched uh, one of my custom fields, which is awesome. Now, if if I had named this custom field something different and Planning Center didn't recognize that they were the same, all I would have to do is click this drop down and decide where what tab that was in and what the name was uh, field name was called. So we've got the person ID. Now I know that this is going to be imported into Planning Center whenever I uh, match all these fields. So I'm going to say all these fields are good to go. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Lots of fields. Okay, and then um, then I can preview the import. But before I do that, I want to make sure that you know about this little checkbox right here. So, when for, for your first import, this isn't as important if you're if you're coming if your database is totally clean and there's nothing in it. But for the second import, like when you're adding um, more information to the people who are already in Planning Center, people, um, you want to consider what you do with the empty fields in your CSV file. So let me give you an example. Say my phone number is already in Planning Center, people. Like it's it's in there. I added it for something else. Um, so I'm uh, I'm gonna say that my my uh, phone number is in there but it's not in the uh, CSV file that I have um, have have created so it's blank it's a blank field I can choose to either override with that blank field and remove my phone number and make it blank or I can choose to um, ignore that blank field and keep my phone number. So that's what this check checkbox does. Again, the empty fields, anything that's blank, should delete existing data. If that's the case, like the stuff that's in Planning Center is old and you know that your CSV file has all the right information, you can check that box so that the CSV file um, puts the correct information in there. But if you're not sure or, or you want to make sure that those empty fields don't override then you want to uncheck this box. So I know that's a lot of information for just one little checkbox, but if you ever run into that, that's that's what's going on there. So I'm going to preview this import and it's generating that preview. And like I said, we've got this, um, this stepping process here that's telling us what, what is happening next. So this is generating, this is working on it, and um, we're going to let that, let, let it continue and um, I'm not going to walk all the way through importing the CSV file because um, it's boring <laughs> and because uh, you can do it by clicking the question mark in the top right, typing import, and there's an article that will walk you through what all of these extra fields are and what you do next. So that is the importer. I do want to let you know that if you import a file, um, you can undo the import. The, uh, the article that is in the question mark and you type import, um, it'll tell you how to undo that file.